How's everybody out there in YouTube? I want to do a quick video. Um, got new motorcycle helmets and got the intercom systems for the helmets. And like most of you out there, and there's a lot of videos out there, if you listen to music, it sucks. There's no other way to, to put it. It sucks ass. And if you want good music through these things, good luck without having to be a little creative and come up with it on your own. This is the 11R6, I think that's what that is, 11R6 intercom system that we picked up. We got three of them, one for me and my wife and one for my brother. And I will try and show this. Let me get up so I can see, you can see this. These little metal speakers that it comes with are literally crap if you're wanting to listen to music. Um, this is what comes with it. I'll try to get the light. From if you bought these, you know what these are. And it comes with a little foam cover up and you Velcro it inside your helmet. It's fine for talking um, and stuff like that. On a side note, um, this is not a Cena or any of the high-end ones. This is we paid thirty-something dollars a piece for these things on eBay um, for talking and stuff like that. Fantastic! I can't say enough about this little thing and the cost of it. You can pair up to six riders. Um, it says it's good at twelve hundred meters. Man, we've gone a lot farther than that. Me and my brother, we have been way far apart. We're not even seeing each other anymore. It's it, it's gotten a little staticky. But it's a lot farther than 1,200 meters. It's actually damn impressive. Um, but back to the speaker part. So I enjoy music when I'm riding. Uh, a lot of us who go out and ride motorcycles who wear full face or modular helmets, we enjoy being able to listen to music. And a lot of us, a lot of riders out there are suffering with the speakers that come with these intercom systems. And I've seen people complain about Cena and other ones and some of the high, other high-end ones. And they're all crap when it comes to listening to music. So I'm going to go through what I did on my helmet and maybe save you a little bit of time you know because it was a lot of trial and error crap to finally get to something that uh, that I was comfortable with and what I ended up with uh, anything under 80 miles an hour sounds fantastic you start putting pushing 90 100 and plus uh, nah it's not good but at that point you know what are you gonna do so I'm gonna set this helmet aside this is my wife's helmet I haven't upgraded her sound system yet and we're going to move on to this helmet here. Um, this is my Bell Qualifier helmet. Love it. Um, if you have a Bell Qualifier helmet and you want to quieten it up because they're still not overly quiet for riding and stuff. If you want to quieten your Bell helmet up, this is what I found. I got some Monster or uh, some Gorilla tape. And I taped up the back exhausts on the bottom here by your ears. These are right next to your ears. They create a lot of noise. You still have the exhaust in the top. The helmet still vents fine. I live in Texas. It's hot as hell down here. Still vents fine with these up here and then the, the wind that comes through the bottom down here around your neck area. But if you tape up these little exhaust ports in the back by your ears, it cuts down so much damn noise it's pathetic. As I'm showing you these things, people are seeing, you're, you're probably seeing this here. And, uh, First, I started with the fact that these intercom systems don't produce a lot of volume um, for listening to music. Uh, I did some research around on the internet, found this. This is the FIO A1, F-I-I-O, and the model of it is A1, and it is a headphone amplifier. Uh, for this little unit here, it does really well. It gives me a lot of sound and volume out of it. It's got a couple of modes in it, so you can take bass out or add bass in, depending on what kind of music you can listen to. I listen to anything from, you know, country, Chris Stapleton, to Exhibit, Tupac, you know, those, I listen to everything. So I wanted something that would be able to adjust to some of those things, and this works out great. Puts out a lot of volume for a headphone system, which is essentially what this is. Now, you're going to have to have some soldering skills, and when I say soldering skills, you have to have a soldering gun. There is no skill to soldering when you're doing something like this. You're not working on a piece of, you know, electronic boards or something crap like that. Um, this is just going to, you're going to connect wires to wires. That's all you're looking for. So what I ended up doing is out of this plug for your intercom system, it's designed to support two speakers and your microphone, which is down inside here. 
what you're going to do is you're going to take the speakers out, which is starting out with what I showed you in the first helmet, and you're going to desolder those speaker wires off of those speakers. Then what you do is run it into a three-quarter inch plug. So you're going from the speaker wire portion of this hookup to a 3.5 millimeter jack. And it's going to run around in here into this amp. Once you do that, you're going to come out this side with a 3.5 millimeter jack. And the wires will run to your speakers. And you're going to upgrade your speakers if you want really nice sound. What I ended up doing is I went through several different deals. I used upgraded um, headphone speakers, which made a difference. It, it made it a little bit better. Not where I wanted it. I'm a music freako. I got to have my music when I ride, and I want to be able to enjoy it and hear it. And uh, not just hear it, but enjoy it and, and get the full sound out of it. Um, it took a, several trial and errors. It drove my wife nuts um, because I just kept coming up with different systems and trying different speakers and systems. I was on eBay. Let me get this buttoned out. And I came across 1.5 inch Wolfers, full range speakers, 8 ohms, and it was uh, labeled as an ultra thin speaker. It was probably about a quarter of an inch thick when I got it. Um, and then I put those in here and I was pleased with it. But then I still wanted to adjust some things and I'm going to pull this out a little bit so you can see it. Now I went and did something a lot of people wouldn't consider doing. It's a 1.5 inch woofer and I will hold, leave that there and hopefully that's in the camera. Let me check to see. Okay, yeah. It's a 1.5 inch full range woofer, ultra thin. I bought them off eBay. They were like six bucks for a pair and they came from China. <clears throat> and it was fantastic. The only thing is you have to have some wait time because it's coming from China. Um, but the prices are phenomenal. And I slid these in the pockets, which a lot of us have in our helmets. You just slide it in that pocket around your earpiece, puts it in your ear, fine. And it sounded great. You could even feel the bass reflex hitting your ears um, when I would listen to Ice Cube or Exhibit and uh, even some country music I listened to. Really nice full sound, but it wasn't still where I wanted it. So I got to fiddling around with it, messing with the damn thing. And I found, amazingly, that the screw cap on the top of a V8 bottle, not one of the small ones, but the bigger ones, this speaker fit perfectly into it. So I drilled a hole in the side to run the speaker wires into it, dropped the speaker inside of it, and now the sound is absolutely phenomenal at 80 miles an hour and under. You start cranking it past 80, uh, you know, you're getting up to 100 somewhere around there. You can hear it. It's not the same. You know, you know, there's just too much wind noise. It's going to over, override these speakers. Um, these things actually have little bass reflex around it. It's, uh, it's amazing they can make speakers this damn small. I'll try and get it close up here so you can see what it looks like. So, it's a little woofer inside of a V8 cap and you can super glue it or you can use epoxy glue whatever you want to use to put it in there and essentially it just gives it a back for that bounce sound to bounce back forward instead of being absorbed either by your fabric and your padding and your helmet and it just pushes some of that sound back um, forward on it. I'll turn it on and see if uh, you can't hear what I'm talking about when you get these intercom systems, I don't care which one you have, um, the speakers and things that it come with, we've already covered that. It sucks. And if you're watching this video, <laughs> then you know damn well what I'm talking about. And let me get my phone turned on here. So you can hear the sound on these, maybe. I don't know what kind of sound you're going to get on this little camera speaker. Okay. So yeah, Virgin Airs, sorry for the cussing and music. That's what I roll with a lot of times. Um, when you put this system in your helmet and you get it wired up with these aftermarket speakers like this, 
it is literally a damn night and day difference when you're wanting to go out and ride and enjoy it. Um, even just the intercom portion of it, just talking to the other riders you're riding with, um, their vo vocals aren't all tinny and everything. There's actually a nice warmth to their vocals when they're talking, which is, again, pleasant when you're out riding. You want a good sound when you're out riding. Um, I'm considering upgrading this FIO amp. Uh, not right now, because like I said, what I've done is spend enough time on it that it's irritated my wife quite a bit because she's like just be done with it what i'm going to show you here real quick is when i say soldering skills you don't really need it's not a skill you get a little stupid five or six dollar soldering iron from true value or wherever you're at by you wherever you live and you're going to get a tube of soldering like this now this is really thin soldering it's got a flux core so you don't even need to buy the flux or anything and you're going to touch it to it like that and melt it and I'm going to bring the camera down here and see if I can't get a little closer shot. And essentially, you're just going to run this solder up this wire like so. And you're coating that wire with solder. You're going to do it to the two wires. And then when you get the two wires close together, you're just going to bump it and it'll heat that solder back up and it'll weld those two lines together. You can also buy this stuff called shrink. I'm going to put the camera back. It's like a shrink stuff. It's shrink tubing. You can get it in different sizes. And essentially what you end up doing is you cover up the joint where the two wires are soldered. And you warm it up with a blow dryer. Now if you have a heat gun, cool. Then most of what I'm explaining to you, you already know. But if you don't, you just get a little, put this little stuff over it. So it shrinks down with heat. You put it over the joint. Put a blow dryer on it on hot. And it shrinks it around it. And it protects that connection there for it. Um, I also found that the thinner the wire on these on this system, or I'm assuming on most of them, the thinner the wires, the better the sound is going to be. Don't misconstrue that the thicker the wire, the more the better. There's ohm impedance on speakers, and these little woofers are 8 ohms, and uh, there's also impedance on your speaker wires, which is a lot of people don't know. Um, for these headphone top systems, the thinner the wire, the better. This jack here that I bought to pair up with these woofers that I have inside this helmet, I bought this headphone system. I bought these little headphones, the little earbud headphones for a dollar at the dollar store, and it's got that really thin wire inside of it. When you strip back that wire, you're going to have two wires exposed. They're going to have two wires inside of it. You do not have to try and strip those wires. When you take your soldering gun and you put your solder on it and you touch the tip of that wire, the little coating on that wire is going to melt and your solder is going to go on that wire. And when you look at these wires, you're going to assume that they're touching. There's actually a coating on these wires. It's just so thin, um, you don't have to strip it. Just a soldering gun will melt the tips of that and allow you to expose the wire and solder the joints together. So get you a little cheap set from the dollar store. You don't have to pay a lot for these and this is what's coming out of the file headphone amp and running to those woofers that I bought. I will try and share, I will put links to what I've got here um, in the uh, comment in the uh, description field on the YouTube video. But a lot of this stuff was bought off eBay, so I don't know if they'll exist anymore. And I will also try and put pictures in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyways, have fun riding. Keep the two wheels down. Unless you'd like to stand it up. Ow! And uh, stay safe out there, guys. And have fun putting your helmet sound system together. Um, don't, get, uh, don't get intimidated by it. Like I said, have some fun with it. Figure out what you're doing and then teach the guy next to you how to do it. And uh, we all need nine pounds of some on So, peace. Keep safe.